so far in this chapter we have seen all the six trigonometric ratios and what they mean we saw what is sine theta cos theta tangent of a theta cosecant of a theta secant of a theta and cot of a theta now just a general question so let us say that there is a triangle and there is a second triangle and both these triangle has the angle as theta let's call this a b c and let the let us call this p q and r now both these triangles have one angle as theta which is common so will the sine theta of this angle will be equal to sine theta of this that is my question is whether sine a will be equal to sine p if both the angles are same yes it will be the same value here is how we can prove this so let us say this okay so we can draw these two triangles in this way since both the angles are same and let us say the triangle pqr is the bigger one and again a can also be inscribed here and let's say it will produce a triangle like this abc will look like this and pqr will be like this and both the angles are theta by looking at this we can say the triangle abc is similar to the triangle pqr which means the ratio between the sides will also be equal that is ab by pq will be equal to bc by rq which will be equal to ac by a r this is the property of a similar triangle and if two right angled triangle will have the same theta then they will be similar triangles because they will have 190 degree the other angle will be theta in both of them this will be 90 degree so obviously the third angle will also be the same so they will be similar triangles and for similar triangles we have this property so now we can try to find the sign of this so sign of let's consider the angle p sign of p will be opposite side is rq divided by hypotenuse is pr so sign p will be rq by pr and in the case of a sin a will be opposite side bc by hypotenuse ac so bc by ac and we have this identity in this we can use these two this will be pr so bc by rq is equal to ac by pr we will use that bc by rq is equal to ac by p r and from this in this what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this rq to the right hand side and i'm going to take this ac to the left hand side so i will get bc by ac is equal to rq by p r and bc by ac is sin a and rq by pr is sin p so i got sin a is equal to sin p and in the similar fashion we can prove the same for all the six trigonometric ratios so as long as the angles are same the value of the ratio will also be same it irrespective of the triangle in which the angle is present so for every single angle the sign of that angle has a specific value so now we can try to find out the value of 
all the six trigonometric ratios when the angle is 45 degree for this i am going to assume a isosceles right triangle and isosceles right triangle is a right angled triangle with two sides as equal so this side will be a and this side will also be a this is the right angle let's call this a b and c so this is our isosceles right triangle okay so in this triangle now we can try to find the value of value of sin theta cos theta and all the six trigonometric ratios but before that since this is a isosceles right triangle both angles c will be 45 degree and this angle will also be 45 degree and for now we can call uh, we can only consider sin a so sin a will be equal to opposite side by hypotenuse so first we can find the hypotenuse hypotenuse value using pythagoras theorem so ac will be equal to square root of ab square which is a square plus bc uh, bc square is also a square so ac will be square root of 2 a square which is equal to a root 2 so the third side will be a root 2 now we can find the value of sin theta sin a so sin a value will be opposite by hypotenuse so a by a root 2 so sin when the angle is 45 degree will be 1 by root 2 similarly we will try to find the cos 45 degree so cos 45 degrees adjacent by hypotenuse a by a root 2 which is also equal to 1 by root 2 tan 45 degrees will be equal to the opposite side by adjacent side so a by a which is equal to 1 similarly we can find cosecant 45 cosecant 45 is the inverse of sin 45 so it will be root 2 or we can find it in this way also the cosecant will be a root 2 divided by a hypotenuse by opposite so it will be root 2 secant 45 degrees will also be root 2 and tan 45 sorry cot 45 cotangent of 45 will also be 1 the inverse of tan 45 now we have the 6 trigonometric ratios value when the angle is 45 degree now in order to find the values when theta is equal to 30 degree or 60 degree we can assume an equilateral triangle so for the last for finding the 45 degree we assumed a isosceles right triangle and for this angle we will assume an equilateral triangle an equilateral triangle will have all the three sides same and all the three angles will be 60 degree and let us assume that each of this side is of length 2a so and we can call this triangle p q r now if i draw an angle bisector of p that will also be a perpendicular bisector of the side q r why because this is an equilateral triangle so this will be 90 degrees this will also be 90 degrees and this angle will be half of 60 so it will be 30 degrees now we have this side as 2a this also qr is 2a but this q and this point let us call it as s and qs will be half of 2a which is a so now we have this side and this side if we consider only the triangle pqs we have the pq side we have qs side let us find the ps side using pythagoras theorem first so using pythagoras theorem pq square is equal to qs square plus ps square and pq square is 2a square is equal to qs square is a square plus ps square will be ps square because we don't know the value of it yet so ps square will be 
टू ए स्क्वायर बिकम फोर ए स्क्वायर माइनस ए स्क्वायर सो पी एस स्क्वायर इज थ्री ए स्क्वायर पी एस इज इक्वल टू स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ थ्री ए स्क्वायर विल बिकम ए रूट थ्री सो दिस साइड इज ए रूट थ्री लेट एस मेक दिस ट्राइंगल रिलेटेड बिट बिगर P, Q, R and S. This was sixty degrees. This was thirty degrees. This side is A. This side is two A. And we just found out P S to be A root three. So from this triangle P Q S, we can find the values of trigonometric ratios when the angle is thirty as well as when the angle is sixty. first we will find the angles uh, we will find the ratio when the angle is 30 so when sin of 30 will be opposite side is a divided by hypotenuse is 2a in the triangle pqs we are only considering the right triangle pqs in which q is 60 and p is 30 this is 2a this is a and this is a root 3 So sine thirty will be opposite divided by hypotenuse. So this is equal to one by two. Cos thirty is equal to the adjacent side to thirty degrees, which is a root three divided by hypotenuse is two a. A and a will get cancelled, and we will get root three by two. Tan thirty is equal to Opposite side divided by adjacent side. So opposite side to thirty degree angle is a, and the adjacent side is a root three, which will be equal to one by root three. Similarly, the other three ratios is cosecant thirty is the inverse of sine thirty, so it will be two. Secant of thirty will be inverse of cosecant thirty, that will be two by root three. And finally, cotangent of thirty is equal to inverse of tan thirty, which is root three. So these are the trigonometric ratios when the angle is thirty degrees, and for sixty degrees, sine sixty will be equal to. So we need to consider this angle. So opposite is a root three divided by hypotenuse is two a, which is equal to root three. By two, and cos sixty will be equal to adjacent side is a by two a, which is one by two, and tan sixty is for sixty degrees opposite side is a root three divided by adjacent side is a. This will be root three, and in a similar fashion we can write cosecant thirty as inverse of sine. Sorry, we are finding for sixty. For second, sixty yeah, so for second sixty will be equal to inverse of sine sixty. That will be two by root three. Second of sixty will be equal to two, and cot sixty will be equal to one by Root three. So we found the values of ratios when the angle is thirty degrees and sixty degrees. Now we will try to find when the angle is zero degree or ninety degree. So for zero degree, let's consider this triangle A B. So this is right angle, and this is the angle which we are interested theta. So in order for this theta to be zero, this side AC should slowly shrink shrink towards B, and it should meet B. That is, this triangle will become it used to be like this. Now it became like this. 
T A and B and the theta has shrunk previously the angle was bigger now it is smaller if we shrink it another step again this will be 90 degrees we will be having A B C and the theta is even smaller now and we will finally get a line like this it used to be a triangle but now A and B are just the same point and the angle theta is 0 so in this case we can find the ratios first so sine of 0 degrees so sine of C will be opposite which is AB divided by hypotenuse and in this case AB value has become 0 as we decrease the angle AB has slowly uh, gotten into a smaller value and finally it became 0 so it is equal to 0 divided by hypotenuse is AC but it do doesn't matter because 0 divided by any number is 0 now cos 0 cos of 0 degrees will be the side adjacent so in this case BC divided by the hypotenuse and hypotenuse is also BC it was AC but as we reduce the angle the side AC is become has become the side BC now so this can also be written as BC both of them will get cancelled and we will get the ratio of cos 0 as 1 now tan 0 for this we need to find the opposite side which is AB and AB is 0 divided by the adjacent side BC and it uh, 0 by any number is 0 so tan 0 is also 0 now cosecant of 0 is the inverse of sin 0 which means 1 by 0 that will be infinity or we can say undefined secant 0 is inverse of cos 0 so 1 by 1 which will be equal to 1 and finally cot 0 will be equal to inverse of tan 0 this will also be 1 by 0 which is equal to undefined value now we can find the va values of trigonometric ratios when the angle is 90 degrees so the same triangle ABC let us assume ABC with this as right angle and this as theta now we need to make this theta into 90 degrees so for that we need to slowly bring the point C towards the point B so this triangle will become like this A B and C so the angle C the theta has become a little bit larger now we need to make it even more larger this is 90 degrees A C B and the triangle used to look like this and if we keep bringing the point C towards B finally we will get something like this a straight line like this A and both points B and C lie here and the angle of B and C the theta value from the starting it grew a bigger it grew bigger and finally now it is 90 degrees so in this case when theta is equal to 90 degrees then sine theta I mean sine of 90 will be equal to opposite side of C divided by hypotenuse opposite side is AB divided by hypotenuse AC but in this case AC and AB are equal so this will also be AB which will be 1 cos 90 degrees is equal to the adjacent side adjacent side has become completely 0 divided by hypotenuse AC or AB it doesn't matter because 0 by any number is 0 tan 90 tan 90 is equal to the opposite side by adjacent side so for C the opposite side is AB and the adjacent side is the side BC which has become 0 so AB by 0 
and anything divided by zero will be infinity or undefined so now we can try to find the value of cosecant 90 which is the inverse of sine 90 so 1 by 1 is equal to 1 secant of 90 is the inverse of cos 90 so 1 by 0 which is equal to undefined and finally cot of 90 is the inverse of tan 90 so 1 by infinity will be 0 if that is confusing we can fo uh, follow the image also so cot of an angle is the side adjacent divided by side opposite so for this the adjacent side is bc and bc has become 0 divided by the opposite side is ac or ab doesn't matter because 0 by any number is 0 so we found the trigonometric value of the trigonometric ratios when the angles are 90 degrees 0 degrees 60 degrees 30 degrees and 45 degrees based on this we can make a table this is the angle and this is the ratio sine of theta cos theta tan theta cosecant of theta secant of theta and cotangent of theta angles starting from 0 degree then 30 degree then 45 degree then 60 degree and finally 90 degrees the sine theta value we found as 0 sine 0 is 0 and sine 30 is 1 by 2 sine 45 is 1 by root 2 sine 60 is root 3 by 2 sine 90 is 1 cos 0 value is 1 cos 30 is root 3 by 2 cos 45 is 1 by root 2 cos 60 is 1 by 2 and cos 90 is 0 you can observe this for sine theta the values were 0 1 by 2 1 by root 2 root 3 by 2 and 1 and cos theta the same values the orders are just reversed see 1 3 by 2 1 by root 2 this 1 by 2 is in 60 and 0 is cos 90 sin 0 is cos 90 and tangent now for tangent we found the values as tan 0 is 0 tan 30 is 1 by root 3 tan of 45 is 1 and tan 60 is root 3 and tan 90 will be infinity or not defined we can say not defined for cosecant theta 0 of cosecant is not defined after that cosecant 30 is 2 cosecant 45 is root 2 2 by root 3 and this will be 1 cosecant 90 is 1 now for secant secant 0 is 1 secant of 30 is 2 by root 3 secant of 45 is root 2 secant of 60 is 2 and secant 90 will be not defined and finally we found cot for cot 0 we got not defined cot 30 value is root 3 cot 45 is 1 cot 60 is 1 by root 3 and cot 90 is 0 so we saw how the trend was similar in sin theta and cos theta only the orders were reversed similarly we can observe the same trend in cosecant and secant and tan and cot so from this table we can identify the value of trigonometric ratios for these specific angles so if in a triangle let's say a b c it is given that this angle is a right angle b is right angled and we have been given that this angle is 30 degrees we know the one of the angle and one of the side then using these two values we can find all the three sides of this triangle how we can do that so we can say sine of 30 is equal to opposite side by hypotenuse and we know the value of sine 30 is 1 by 2 and ab value is given to us as phi 
and hypotenuse is unknown so ac will be 5 into 2 ac will be 10 we have this value now we can also find this we just had to use a different identity like cos 30 if we use cos 30 the ratio will be adjacent side by hypotenuse and for cos 30 we know the value to be root 3 by 2 from the table we can say cos 30 is root 3 by 2 which is equal to the side BC is unknown to us divided by AC we just found out it to be 10 so BC will be equal to root 3 into 10 by 2 which is equal to 5 root 3 if one of the angles and one of the side is provided to us we can find all the other three sides of the trigonometric uh, uh, all the other three sides of the right angle triangle using this trigonometric ratios so if you have any more doubts regarding this chapter feel free to discuss in the comment section thank you